A lot of us thought it would never happen, but today the outer loop gets new life. Hello, I'm Mark Bullock. And I'm Valerie Lawson. Thanks for joining us tonight. The idea to build a new bypass around Montgomery has been talked about for decades. The problem was always money. Today, the state announced it has $100 million to get the project off the ground. It will start at I-85 near the wall exit, right around where a mound of dirt has been sitting for years. WSFA 12 News reporter Brian Henry is there right now. So, Brian, when can we expect work to finally get underway out there? All right, Brian, thank you. And this is big news. Not only will the road alleviate truck traffic on the boulevard, it should boost economic development from East Montgomery all the way to Mississippi, as you heard Brian mention. The DOT says the first phase of alone will employ more than 3,000 construction workers. Get more details, including artist renderings of the project, on WSFA.com. WSFA 12 News is monitoring a developing story now from around the world. One of four Americans killed by pirates off the coast of Somalia has ties to Alabama. More on those ties in a moment. First, a look at what actually happened. Here's reporter Jay Gray. And covering Elmore County, the National Weather Service is in Wetumpka to teach you how to spot and report dangerous storms. WSFA 12 News is partnering with the Weather Service to put on the class as part of our Severe Weather Awareness Week coverage. Doppler 12 Storm Vision meteorologist Jeff Jumper is in Wetumpka now. Jeff, what can folks learn tonight? As of today, bath salts are illegal in Alabama. We're not talking about the kind you use in the tub. These bath salts are being used to get high. Well, it's Arbor Day. We'll tell you about tree celebrations in Prattville and Montgomery. And later, a woman's life is saved as a result of her pizza order. A story you'll want to see. Well, this next story is a great example of the importance of people helping people. An 82-year-old woman is alive tonight thanks to some caring Domino's Pizza employees. She had a history of ordering a pizza every day. So when she didn't make her usual phone call, Domino's took action. Reporter Lori Brown with the Raycom News Network is in Tennessee with the story. <laughs> and as you heard, she is going to be all right. By the way, Miss Wilson had been ordering that daily pizza for three years. We'll be right back. Well, mm -hmm. that's WSFA 12 News at 5. We're glad you started your evening with us. NBC Nightly News is next, followed by WSFA 12 News at 6. Then I'll see you at 9 on 12.2. Happening now on Fox News, two fires, one location. Why tonight investigators say both appear to be suspicious. Plus, two Hollywood starlets in legal limbo. Lindsay Lohan and Paris Hilton in the news again. Also ahead, the Fox favorite Glee kicks off another season this week. We have a sneak peek. And our top story, a new era at Montgomery's Hyundai plant. Why employees will be busier than ever soon. One hour earlier on Fox News at 9. A change in production at Montgomery's Hyundai plant. Good evening and welcome. I'm Mark Bullock. You know, for years, the Sonata and Santa Fe were the two vehicles made in Montgomery. Tonight, Fox News at 9 has learned a third Hyundai vehicle will now be built in America. And goodness, nobody wants a hurricane, but maybe one of those uh, weaker tropical systems will come through the Gulf and, and we'll get some rain that way. That would be a, a blessing, but we'll have to keep our fingers crossed for one of those uh, nice situations. You know, know. a weak <laughs> storm, but a tropical storm. Yeah, we, they're hard to come by. It has to be the perfect conditions. Right. Thank you, Allison. Uh -huh. Hey, Gleeks. Ball. Get excited. Glee is back, and we have a preview of tomorrow night's big season premiere. Plus, two new shows are coming to Fox. The exclusive sneak peek right after this. My little Chinese friend, win one soon. You know, if we can just find one of those. And that's exactly right. Winning heals all, Mark. I like win one soon. I, a, I do, too. He's a good guy. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. We begin with breaking news. The verdict is in in the trial of Larry Langford. We're taking you live right now to Tuscaloosa where we will hear from Mayor Langford right now. Let's listen in. I had two great attorneys. WSFA 12 News anchor Bob Howell also monitoring these latest developments from our newsroom. Bob, what else do you have for us? It didn't take the jury very long. Exactly right, Mark. Her emotion, high emotions in this trial for the family. Well, and Langford and his attorneys have claimed all this time that this was some sort of plot by Republicans or conservatives because he's a Democrat. It's kind of reminiscent of the Siegelman trial. It's something that, that uh, former Governor Don Siegelman had also claimed. If we can take one more live look outside 
the courthouse will remind you that this uh, trial had been moved to Tuscaloosa out of Birmingham because of pre-trial publicity. And if we see anyone else come up to the podium there, if we see any of the uh, attorneys or, or another person that we think you may want to listen to, we will, of course, of course, dip back into this coverage for you. And I'm Mark Bullock. You just heard the sound. That means we're close to midnight. And we want to welcome in our Raycom Network television viewers from 19 different television stations. We're glad you've joined us for what promises to be an event unlike you've ever seen. We're talking about the Moon Pie Drop over Mobile. There's also fireworks being shot over Mobile Bay as we speak. So this is truly a party of epic proportions in Mobile, Alabama. This is perfect for Mardi Gras, Megan. It's Moon Pie. Moon pie beads. Yes. I'm probably making a lot of noise with that. <laughs> and this I is love this. the moon pie hat. So, you know, you, you get the idea. Your head can moon turn into a mania moon pie. here in Mobile. Cutting edge crime fighting technology that claims to pinpoint the exact location of gunfire, and they call it. Shot spotter. And Montgomery is one of about 20 cities nationwide using it right now, a year later after it's been put into place. The question is, is it working and at what cost? WSFA 12 News anchor Mark Bullock is live inside the City Communications Center with the investigation. Mark, this sounds pretty impressive so far. Yeah, Bob, and to watch it in action, it's like something out of a science fiction movie. We asked, and in the last 12 hours, there have been no incidents of gunfire, but two incidents of firecrackers in the capital city. And all that data comes through on this computer. This is the Shot Spotter computer. It allows 911 operators to see where and when shots happen, even listen to what the shots sound like. In certain areas of Montgomery, gunshots are recorded. And immediately, 911 operators dispatch officers to the exact location. So far. The software is called ShotSpotter. When a gunfire or explosive incident occurs, the ShotSpotter Gunshot Location System, or GLS, detects, classifies, and pinpoints the location within seconds. This is video from the manufacturer. Montgomery installed the system a little over a year ago. It was awful. Since then, Tina Coppridge has noticed a difference. When she first moved into this neighborhood, she says shootings happened all the time. And now... We don't hear any more shooting like we used to hear a lot. It used to be a lot. This is one of the most vital pieces of proactive type policing tools that... Uh, that any police department can have. Captain Otis Perkins sees the data every day. He says before Shot Spotter, there were reports of up to 250 gunshots a month in the covered area. Today, that figure has dropped by 50%. We have it low, we want to keep it low, and we want to even drive it lower. And that's why the city wants to expand the Shot Spotter system, but it won't come cheap. To cover just one square mile, it takes more than a dozen sensors, or about $200,000. But police say it's worth it. It knows how to distinguish between gunshots, firecrackers. It also helps officers establish new patrol routes and can even serve as evidence in court. In a recent murder case in Los Angeles, California, ShotSpotter data confirmed the testimony of a witness who was no longer available, proving without a reasonable doubt that there were two gunmen involved in the shooting. The verdict, both men were convicted, murder in the first degree. Many call it the future of law enforcement, allowing for faster response times and faster prosecutions, which in turn is causing would-be criminals to think twice. Now, the proposed expansion hasn't been approved yet. Uh, the funding hasn't been located, but everyone I talk to agrees. All the 911 operators here say it works. They have stories about officers arriving on a shooting scene so quickly that they are able to take the shooter into custody right then. Bob? Pretty remarkable stuff. Thanks, Mark. 
So, how are things going with that New Year's resolution to lose weight? If you're having a little trouble, like so many of us are, mm -hmm. WSFA 12 News is here to help. We're starting a new series today to help add a little variety to your workout. I'm going to show you some of the hottest new fitness trends in Alabama, and today we're focusing on gravity training. It's one-stop shopping, providing both your strength and cardio workouts to help you get fit. This is the Gravity Training System, or GTS. It uses gravity to strengthen your muscles. It's one of the most popular forms of exercise right now. Here's how it works. By increasing the height of this tower, the force of gravity increases, and the more difficult it is to push or pull yourself up on the glide board. The higher we go, the more resistance. I asked personal trainer Tangi Oliver to give me a lesson. You're going to sit back, you're going to place your feet right here by pushing up with my feet i'm working my legs weight is in the heel we're gonna attach the pulling then by pulling up with my arms i can work muscles in my upper body that's working the shoulders a little bit we're gonna take it out wide good that's gonna work the chest a little bit bring the hands together to engage the chest muscles and come back down to the start position and because it's so adjustable it's good for any fitness level anybody who wants to get in shape Anybody who's already in shape, I love this machine. And I've been in the gym for 20 years. Just ask Bart Harmon. Piece of cake. He takes a gravity class at least three times a week. You can hardly walk out of here. You're so tight and shaken. With traditional weight equipment like this, you only work one muscle at a time and there's only one movement. And that's what makes the gravity system so much more effective. I can move from working my chest very quickly to work in my tricep to work in my back i can work multiple muscle groups all at the same time for over 30 years i've used the total gym it is the most versatile piece of equipment the total gym advertised by christy brinkley and chuck norris is a home version of gts made by the same manufacturer keep the tension in your lap but don't discount the group dynamic. Users say it's not only the equipment, but the instruction and camaraderie of a class that keep them coming back. And it's pretty fun too. Gravity is what you call resistance training. That's the latest thing in exercise science. And right now, gravity classes in Montgomery are only offered by the YMCA, which by the way, non-members can try out for free any Friday in February. We placed a link to the Y and to the Total Gym on WSFA.com. And that's not all. There's an entire section of our website dedicated to helping you get fit, including tips on healthy eating, fitness calculators, and some health club advice. Just click on on fitness trends on the health page. Then tune in tomorrow at 5 for another new resistance training phenomenon right here in Montgomery and it was designed by a Navy SEAL.